pretty disgusting, isn't it? You know, food waste and landfill is a huge environmental problem. Hi, I'm Lee Hart, and we're about to investigate this. Oh, come on! You came right in front. You, can, you can't see me now, can you, Brent? I don't have another crack at that. It's just, it's, it's, yeah, what? Oh, he's wrecked it now. Hi, my name's Lee Hart, and today we're going to investigate this environmental problem. We'll look at three possible solutions. We'll look at the pros and cons with each of these options. And then, as per union regulations, the crew will stop for a light morning snack around 11 a.m. But before that, let's look at option one. The first option for dealing with organic food waste we're gonna look at is the traditional compost bin. Now this involves simply taking your organic waste, popping it in your compost bin like so, and then let nature take its course. Over time, it'll get turned into compost or fertilizer, which you can use on your garden. Let's go meet Daryl, who's been using this method for a number of months. Oh, come on! You know, I've got a very busy lifestyle and it's just, it seems pretty simple just to store it up and then just put it in the backyard in the little ah. compost unit there. Breakfast, lunch and dinner we put all of our scraps, food scraps and whatnot into the little container on the bench. And then we take it from the bench when it starts to get a little bit smelly. Normally it's a daily process, we'll, we'll take it outside and put it in the composting unit. Fantastic. Uh, should we head out there and you can show us exactly what happens? Let's do it. Thanks, cool. You can actually see the nature taking its place. It's working yeah. away, isn't it? Yeah. No, it's pretty simple. I mean, it gives the worms a chance. Any negatives that you can see with the system you're running here? Oh, the only negative really is sometimes the neighbours have a bit of an issue with it. This is a little bit of seepage. You know, it, um, it, it'll get into the compost unit and it'll seep down. Unfortunately, one of the neighbours, uh, his name's Brian actually downstairs, he had a bit of an issue with it because sometimes that seepage leaks onto his balcony. But we've worked that out. We've worked, we've worked through it. Yeah, that's how it is. And he's come to see it that way too. Okay. I was just, have I seen you before somewhere on TV, perhaps, on a TV show or something? Or? Uh, I was on an episode of uh, Neighbours at War. Uh, actually, Brian was on it as well. Brian from downstairs? Brian from downstairs, yeah. Okay. You know, as a documentary filmmaker, I often find myself asking the question, how many pockets are too many pockets? In this case, 56. But I think the real question here is, how many bins are too many bins? Now let's meet the Hendersons. Seriously, you think it's a bit simple about it? I just can't keep doing this. Have a, have a bottle of wine. That's usually what that helps, doesn't it? And see how they're coping with their organic food waste. They're using organic food bins collected by the council. You seem to have quite a lot of bins out there at the moment. How many bins is too many bins? Well, how many pockets are too many pockets? What do you mean? No, I'm, I'm talking about the bin. So, does that get smelly or um, yes. sticky? Yes, it does actually. Can do. And mine. Also, if I don't remind you to do it, it can get really whiffy because it's there for a little bit longer than that. Well, so when I prepared a meal or preparing a meal, all my scraps just go straight into this container here. Yeah. Right. It's I, I, do my, after I do most of the cooking. Well, I do most of the working, so you do some of the I do some of the cooking. I've got three sons, they prefer my cooking. So. Okay, if we can bring it back to how you deal with it, yeah. it'll sit there on the bench in the kitchen for how long? Well, I, I try to um, get rid of it most nights, but uh, in, in but reality, it's probably. Night, it? No. You have usually got other things going on. <laughs> every every sort of three every three days. Okay. Which is a shame because sometimes and I come in from work at like eight o'clock at night, and you and the boys are still just watching telly. I really wish you wouldn't undermine me in front of people like that. It's actually really humiliating, and I thought I could keep it together, but actually, you know what? I'm sick of it. Okay. No, I take it. <clears throat> okay, so we've transferred it now from that bin inside. Yeah, and then I just um, I empty it into this bin here, and then um, we take it out to the road and it's, it's taken away. Great, so you can take that out now? Oh, no, I won't do it now. It's not due for another week, so. We should probably head back inside. Yeah, well, can't we, uh, can't we just hang out here for a bit? Can get a beer or something? Well, it's a week later, and it's rubbish pickup day for the Hendersons. It gets collected by yet another rubbish truck. It's then taken to a plant, where it's turned into compost, which is an environmentally friendly option. But what's not so environmentally friendly is the carbon monoxide these extra trucks are pumping into the environment. 
You know, much like the Hendersons' relationship, I can't help but think their system of dealing with organic waste is a little dysfunctional. Be a bit subtle about it, Dan. Have some wine. What you usually do, isn't it? Well, we've looked at two systems. Let's take a look at another one. Just turn the knob. There's no knob on it. Um. You'll have to go back over there now. Okay, okay. Got it, got it. One guy, looks like. Okay. Let's take a look at another one. The waste disposal unit. Now Natalie, you've been using the waste disposer for a while now. What do you like about it? Um, the cleanliness, the convenience. It just eats it all up and it goes to a processing plant and it's, I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to worry about stinky bins. I don't have to worry about sticky benches. So you, you pop it all down there? Yep. And I just use the brush. Just jam it all down there, really. So it's environmentally friendly and clean in the kitchen. Can you see yourself using any other method? No. It ticks all the boxes. What? So in summary, you're saying it's the, the convenience is what you like about it? Yeah, it's clean, it's, it's convenient, and it's environmentally friendly. So we've shown you a number of ways to prevent food waste from ending up in landfills. Let's recap. The home compost method. This has many positives, but in many situations, it's a little impractical. The organic bin method. This also has benefits. It's by and large good for the environment, but in many situations can also be a little impractical. And it relies on fossil fuels to get it from A to B. The waste disposal unit. Keeps your kitchen and your home free of organic waste and it's practical. It's also environmentally friendly. Organic waste from incinerators actually helps to create electricity that runs the water treatment plant that process it. So there you have it. Three different options for dealing with organic food waste. I know which one I would choose.